First at 5 o'clock, Tulsa police find a woman dead inside a man's home, then learned he had escaped Wagoner County. And when confronted by law enforcement, they say he stabbed himself. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. The man was flown to a Tulsa hospital. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter is live with the latest. Reagan? Craig and Lori, while police were investigating the murder, they learned the man was at a boat ramp near Fort Gibson Lake. So Tulsa homicide detectives called the Wagner County Sheriff's Office for help. Wagner County Sheriff Chris Elliott says his deputies found the man in a truck at the Snug Harbor boat ramp just north of Wagner. After ordering him to get out of the truck, deputies say he refused and stabbed himself in the chest. Began giving him commands to step out of the vehicle, and we, we literally watched him take the knife and press it into his chest. And then we were able to get him out of the vehicle, get him secured, make it safe so we could start first aid on him. Police say this all started when the man's boss went to his house at the Mingo RV park today to check on him because he didn't show up for work. TPD says the boss found a woman dead inside the RV and she had clear signs of trauma, but the man was nowhere to be found. Police say they talked to him on the phone and learned he was possibly suicidal and in the Wagner area. We're still trying to figure out why this happened, exactly how it happened. It was such a, a horrible incident, but sometimes we get lucky. We catch these breaks where we have a suspect who's a known suspect, and, and so we were able to wrap this up pretty quickly. Police and Wagner County deputies had him in custody within hours of finding the woman dead. It's a testament of how well the Wagner County Sheriff's Office works with all area law enforcement. Uh, we all have each other's phone numbers. Uh, they call command staff direct here. We jump into action and we put things together and we make things happen very quickly. Now, police say at last check, the, the, the man is expected to survive. Now, once he is released from the hospital, he'll be booked into jail. Live in Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.